morning, everyone. Happy fun Friday. Um, we made it through this first week. We're on a roll. We're figuring it out together, making it work. So I appreciate everyone for watching the videos. Um, if you guys are my kiddos at school, I love that I see you guys watching these. It makes my heart so happy to know that we can still stay connected, even if I can't be right with you guys. Um, it makes me so happy to know that you guys like these and you're watching these. So thank you guys so much. Um, the read aloud I have today is a fun one. It is called The Library Book. So in the video I just did before this, um, my morning message with my kids that I posted, I talked about how I've kind of stuck with like the same theme for this week. So we've talked about books and the power and magic that books can have um, and moving forward like in life, setting dreams and having goals and things like that. So um, this one kind of goes with that and it talks about some of the possibilities of books and some of the great books that are out there. Okay. So as I'm reading this book, I think that adults, you'll see a lot of characters that you might know that some of your kids might not. So this might be a good opportunity to learn um, and teach them about some of the other characters in the book. That might be a fun one. But your question of the day, if you are following along and doing this, is what is your favorite book and why? Okay. So I'll read this one first and then um, you guys can have a conversation as a family or kids, you can go run around the house and try to find your favorite book. You guys can tell Miss Howes what it is. You can send me a video of you reading it or looking at the pictures or draw a picture of it. I would love to see that. Okay. All right. So let's read the library book. Okay. This book is by Tom Chapin and Michael Mark. This kind of looks a lot like what it looked like yesterday. Saturday morning and the rain is pouring. Dad worked late last night. He's in there snoring. Same old stuff on TV. Boring. I'll look this way so you guys can see the pictures of it. So what if I can't go out and play? I know what I'll do today. I'm going down to the library, picking out a book. Check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Now I like books and they like me, so when I go to the library, I sit down in my favorite chair and check to see who's there. Maybe we should see at the library. Hmm. Maybe one book, maybe two, take me home, says Winnie the Pooh. And if we have to travel far, I'll bring my honey jar. Let's see if we can call me out. Oh, I'm going down to the library, picking out a book. Check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book. Check it in. Sleeping Beauty yawned and said, I'll come when I get out of bed. But Madeline says, let her nap and jumps right into my lap. The cat in the hat says, hey, I'll go. Don't take him, cries Pinocchio. Don't take that cat to your address. He always makes such a mess. Oh, I'm going down to the library, picking out a book. Check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book. Check it in, check it out. So the line is getting longer. It looks like she's taking all of these friends or books up with her. Mrs. Parker's back behind the checkout desk today. The Cheshire cat jumps on her head and says, let's play. But Mrs. P says, goodness, are you sure you want all these? Oh, yes, we shout together. She says, shh, quiet, please. Callie just came running in here. Get her. 
heard that door open. She pushed it wide open. I'm going down to the library, reading out a book. Check it in, check it out. I'm going to say hi to the dictionary. I'm reading out a book. Check it in, check it out. The seven dwarfs begin to shout, Say, take us with you. Check us out. Then Cinderella gets her gown and Babar grabs his crown. Then Curious George swings from the shelf. Along comes Mother Goose herself. Out the door we danced and sang. The whole library rang. Okay, and then here's where I found. Which ones do you see in that picture that you guys might know? Hmm. Oh, I'm going down to the library out a book. Check it in. Check it out. I'm going to say hi to the dictionary. I'm reading out a book. Check it in. Check it out. I'm going down to the li- out a book. Check it in. Check it out. Who do you guys see that went with her? What's your favorite one? Do you think that he's real? Do you think it's really Winnie the Pooh? Or do you think that she took a Winnie the Pooh book out and that she's in her imagination making that up? Sam? Awesome. That was the library book. Thank you guys for listening. Um, so, yes, your question of the day is, what is your favorite book and why? So this could be a book that you guys um, maybe have at home or um, you took out from school or one that Miss House or other reading teachers at um, school have given you guys and you guys really like it. So I want you guys to think about what's your favorite book. So with Miss Howes, when I thought of what my answer would be for this, um, I have lots and lots of books that I love, but um, at school, I have a book that my mom got me when I graduated college, and it's called I Wish You More, and I tell my kids it's right on my back shelf, and I they always ask, when are we going to read that book? When are we going to read that book? And I always read it on the last day of school, and if anyone's watching this and I had um, your kiddos in the past, they remember this book. Because I've read it every day or every year on the last day of school um, for the last three years that I've been teaching. And um, it's all about um, caring about others so much that you wish them more than anything. So you wish them more sand on any beach. You wish them more stars in the sky. Um, and it's all about wishing others well because they mean so much to you. And I think that that's my favorite book because it has so much meaning and power to me. Um, I love, my mom wrote on the inside of the book a little message to me, and every time I read it at the end of the year, I read that first, and it tugs right, right on my heart, and then um, reading it to my kids, too, and seeing their little faces um, is so sweet, because we spent so much time together all year long, and then um, the end of the year comes, and you just kind of pass them off, so it's my little way of, of showing them that um, I wish them well, and I wish them more than anything in the world, um, and that they always know that I care about them. So that is my favorite book. Um, I might have to go get that um, and read it here to you guys because I think it would be really special to do right now too. Um, so yeah, go do that. But uh, today's going to be the last video. So tomorrow is Saturday. So Miss House is not going to see you guys Saturday. Miss House is not going to see you guys Sunday. But I will be back um, Monday morning doing another read aloud. So I think Monday we're going to do a Mo Willems one. Maybe let's go for a drive. Maybe we'll do that one. Let me show you guys my inside the table here. Da, 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 da. Allie's back, everyone. She's making a guest appearance again, and I'm not going to be here. So we'll do this one on Monday. I think that would be fun to do. And maybe you guys will have a connection to it because 
maybe you'll go somewhere this weekend where you'll go for a drive um, and you'll have some fun doing stuff with your family. So I hope you guys get moving today, move your bodies, um, you know, reach out to others, stay safe, take care of yourself, um, maybe cook a yummy recipe up. It's almost like a good morning to do like pancakes or waffles for breakfast. Um, I, I'm sorry, parents, if you're watching this <laughs> and your kids request that, it could be Miss House fault. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I miss you all so, so, so much if you guys are my kiddos. And um, please keep sending pictures and videos. Uh, it means way more to me than you guys know. Every time I get it, I just like sit there and I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm so proud of them and I miss them so much. So um, keep doing all your work and keep doing your great learning. Miss House will see you guys so, so soon. Okay, fabulous weekend, everyone. And I will see you next week. See ya.